Yeah, holy! What's good, everybody? Your boy Post here with the buffed Blue Dragon Kaido guide. It's gonna be everything you need to know about him with the buffs included. I do want to give a special shout out to the one and only Kaido Master. He has pursued and played this character through the bad times and now is thriving. This is the best Kaido. So he wanted to have a little bit of input into this guide. So big shout out to him as he has a lot of input. And this is his gameplay. He actually wanted to use that as well instead of mine. I do have Max Kaido as well, but we decided to use his. And as always, if you have not familiarized yourself with his traits there is his, i'm going to put his current traits up on the board so that's how he is as of right now there's a few different not or different changes that i'll go over in the video but without further ado let's get into the guide okay first up is going to be the stat recommendations you are going to go probably full hp 70 percent hp 70 percent defense and then probably stack defense on top of that from there so if you can get 70% defense, 70% HP, and then 300 flat extra defense, that is probably the goal if you can get by that. Otherwise, just extra 160. Whatever you can add on top of that, it depends on what you have to work with, whether you have 18% traits or not. Now, if you only have 14% traits, I do recommend you probably go 70% 70, 70 HP with extra defense as well on secondary. I think that's going to be your best bet as the HP is very useful. So overall, relatively simple. And if you're like me and you have access to 24%, I do recommend 70% HP, 54% attack, 54% defense. I feel like an absolute monster and I'm like a, a complete raid boss in the league battle. So it feels so good. I think Kaido has a very easy time now given after these buffs. So you can be flexible on how you build him. But I think that's the general go to. So you can make things work however you wish. Now, his kit is relatively simple. I'm just going to throw this in the tips and strategy section, also kind of his buff changes. You now have a knockback on your auto attacks, so that's one thing to keep in mind of. So someone like Dark Roger, you can knock him off. Try not to use your auto attacks too much because he does have a really long sequence and you can be locked into it. I would only recommend using one, two on your basic attacks. Don't press it a third time because that will kind of chain you into it for a little bit longer than necessary and people, when they dodge, they'll be behind you and so it will miss entirely. So it's kind of just a waste of time and it opens up the enemy to hit you as well you also have completely immune status effects you don't need flags to be charged to a certain amount you heal three percent when anyone hits you no matter what whether it's more than ten percent of your hp or not which is also a very very big deal and on top of that you have damage reduction so all of this i know this is just kind of a few of the changes but you have damage reduction now which Kaido previously did not he only had the defense buff so this is huge for him and that 50 percent goes a long way now when you're playing him use your skill one generally if you're Especially against those immune, like uh, immortal characters like Odin or Yamato, you can press your skill one, it pushes people away. It's not a knockback, but it's just like a push away. So you just press that, and people will be off your flag because they can't get on it, and then it will open you up to kill them from there. Now be careful, it does do damage, so people can use that to perfect dodge, and then they can perfect dodge the laser after that. So just things to be weary of. Make sure you're conscious with your skill 2. Try not to just spam your skill 2, even though it's a much shorter cooldown now, but make sure you use it to protect flags specifically. So overall, relatively simple character to play, I would say. It just comes down to timing and when you're using your stuff correctly. It's really just a macro and a player difference, I would say in general. Now let's talk about the Kaido Pros. Now he has the ability to 150% flags he can now charge flags while enemies are on it which is a big deal he gets a 50 percent attack buff now on top of the 70 percent defense buff he's actually loaded with buffs he can be an absolute monster he can push enemies off of his flag which is a big deal because pushaways for some reason are extremely like strong abilities i don't want to say overpowered but they're very 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 strong and they can be very useful for just keeping people off of your flag so i really love that ability your laser is now faster I, he comes with so much. You have the ability to protect flags from all over and all flags all at one time. So if everyone's attacking multiple flags, you can shoot your fireball, which is your skill too, and it just rains down fire from above. Now this is much faster ability as well and also provides you with invincibility. So you can use it defensively as well. He, on top of that, he heals back 80% of the damage that he takes while he's in his skill one, which was really kind of a killer for him earlier on because people just one shot him, but now there's only like one character that can really one shot him we'll get to that in the counters so these are just in endless amounts of pros that this kaido has i really think he's a phenomenal unit after these buffs these ex buffs seem to hit really really hard compared to the bounty fest and the step ups let's be real so they're definitely not like holding back 
for these units. And on top of that, he has a bunch of Nullify Stagger and Immunity to Knockback as well to keep him on his flag when he needs to be. So endless amounts, endless heals. He heals with knocking back enemies or knocking down, and then he heals with just getting hit. Uh, it, so many things going for him. It's insane. Even if you ignore defense, he's still kind of hard to get to because he has the 50% damage reduction now. So I could go on and on, but I'm going to move forward into his cons. All right, now talking about the Kaido cons. Honestly, at this very moment in time, I don't think he has like any specific hard cons besides being a big target. Now, that doesn't always mean the enemy can do something about it, but when you're someone fighting someone like Jabra and has a multi-hit, like a wide range AoE ability, it can hurt. So, I would say maybe that. The other con is probably... I don't even, I don't even know! Maybe, like, he doesn't have insane amounts of damage reduction, but he doesn't need it because otherwise he'd be unstoppable and unkillable. He has... I really don't even know what is specifically his cons are at this moment in time. The people who are immortal, I guess, are his weakness because he can't kill people who are immortal unless whatever condition it is to kill them is activated, like pushing them off a flag or something. So I guess that's it is is, is the ability, I would say. So he, that's, yeah, he doesn't really come with very many cons at this moment in time. So we'll see how this scales. If you're watching this at a later time, maybe Kaido will have some much bigger counters. But as of this moment, he's kind of just chilling. All right, now let's talk about who Kaido is strong against. Basically almost everyone. He does fine against Dark Roger. He does fine against, I would say, even Uta, like the Dark Runner Uta. He can hold. There are some runners that he can't necessarily stop. So he is, like, I guess, his cons, he doesn't come with da very much damage increase. So that can be kind of a thing. So I guess I should touch that. But it's fine. You know, we're here. So anyways, the characters you do beat. A lot of the runners, you're fine against Light Shanks. Light Shanks can do absolutely nothing to you. I would say your counters to all of those. So Light Shanks, Dark Roger, whoever the other person was that I mentioned before. So, oh, Uta, Dark Uta. I think you're perfectly fine against a lot of these units. They really can't do anything to stop you because they will never kill you for the most part. Roger, maybe because he's got the 50% HP cut, but other than that, I don't truly think so. That's why you use your skill one defensively in that matter. All right, now let's talk about the Kaido counters. I don't think this list is big. I think you have basically about two, and it's the CP9 goats. You have Bluno, the blue runner. He has just enough damage reduction to grab a flag before the Kaido is able to kill him. Now, if the Kaido has his skill two and you just tank it, you're going to be screwed because that does a loads amounts of damage. So you do have to dodge something as Bluno, but Bluno, I think in general is one of the more safer go-tos to fight Kaido. On top of that, I'd probably add Jabra. If you're using Jabra wisely and you have a good support build, his skill two can annihilate Kaido in his skill one. If Jabra just waits to use his skill two, which is that wolf bouncy skill, if he uses that in the middle of your skill one, you do not want to use your skill one in front of a job or just 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 a thing. So job is up there. I would say S Bear is kind of up there because he has the ability to just scoop you back into your spawn. So that's kind of a counter. Sort of, because it gets you off the flag and allows the team to go and take it. So depending on where the flag is located and when your spawn's located, it could be a loss for you. So I would say those three are like the main counters at this moment in time. There may be more if you're watching this later down the line. But pretty much things that can scoop him off the flag without needing to kill him or things that can ignore him and just start taking the flag and not die to him. I would say those are his two major, major counters. All right, now let's talk about some metal recommendations. There are a variety of options. I think one thing that's great about Kaido is you can literally go the Kaido set. It is perfect and phenomenal for him. I really do enjoy it. Kaido set's obviously the best. It gives you phenomenal skill one. I, I think you're loaded with that. Now, if you want to rearrange this and put the wildfire event metal on, it kind of stacks. So if you take out the hybrid Kaido metal and put in the wildfire, King Metal, whatever that one is, is the Event King Metal. If you put that one in, you can make that work as well. It gives you even more skill one cooldown whenever you're hit, and you'll be able to just keep spamming that. So that is an option. Other options are things like Luffy sets. You have CP9 sets. You have low, what, the Seraphim sets. There's actually a good couple of different options. You have Luffy with that luchi luffy metal set so you have the egghead luffy metals probably not recommended generally specifically but there's a, a good amount of different metal sets that are pretty solid now and on top of that you could also go the anel set i think the anel and the kaido sets are probably the top two overall it's entirely up to you on whatever you choose to play 
So you have a variety of options there. I think Kaido sets you're gonna be gonna be your go-to now is a great time to play because people will have the blue Kaido that can give you that medal. Also, at the time of this video recording, he does have a banner that is up, so it is the best chance to get him right now. Who knows when it'll rerun as they only come back like once, maybe twice a year. So just things to be wary of when you're fighting old EXs and this newly buffed Kaido. So overall, you guys, that is my total guide. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and hope you guys enjoyed the Kaido-sama overall. I think he is a phenomenal and one of the best defenders in the meta. I would say it's either him or Bragi are contenders for the top defenders at this very moment in time of this video. As I said, power creep is huge in this game, so they'll probably be surpassed sometime not too long after the recording of this video. So hopefully you guys found this useful. And if there's any other things, questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. I will try to address them and let those know for any Anyone who else who is watching this so that's all i have for you guys i hope you guys found this useful i'm Roy roman push check me out on twitch twitter discord all those links are down in my description below and i will see you guys on the next one yeah holy peace beautiful people